Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. On trailer wiring installations, it's important to know where to store your four flat harness. In a lot of cases, people will just leave it dangling right here and it can drag on the ground and get damaged or be really exposed to the elements. So let's take a closer look on how you can store your four flat harness and safely secure it for your next tow. So let's start by showing you how you can secure your wiring underneath your vehicle. Keeping your trailer wiring under your vehicle next to your hitch receiver makes it really convenient to have so it's always ready to hook up and go. So instead of leaving your wiring dangling, the best thing to do is to secure it using a trailer wiring mounting bracket. Now our four flat mounting bracket, which is the most common, works for all Kurt and Takasha wiring kit, which is the majority of all of our wiring but we also offer custom brackets for all of our U-Haul wiring kits. Now we also offer five, six, and seven trailer wiring brackets, so no matter what type of trailer wiring you have, we have the right option for you. Now when installing mounting brackets on your vehicle, there's a few things you wanna watch out for to make installing it easier. Now first off, there's a lot of hitches such as draw tights that offer mounting plates that are already welded onto your hitch. Now on these plates, we already have the holes drilled onto it that work with every single mounting bracket that we offer here at U-Haul. So our four flat mounting bracket is our most common bracket that we use. So we're going to install this on this vehicle to help fix this wiring from dangling. Now to install this, we're just gonna take the two holes on here and we're gonna line it up with the holes on our mounting plate. Now our kit comes with all of the hardware that we need to install. We have two sets of screws and we have two self-tapping screws. So we're gonna use these screws to mount it onto our plate. Then we're gonna take our nuts and secure it underneath our screws. Then we can tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. Now when installing this bracket, we wanna make sure that it's going onto the up position. If we have it down and you end up hitting a speed bump or you have a vehicle with low clearance, you can accidentally hit that at the bottom and that can cause damage to your wiring. So we want our wiring to come over our hitch receiver and we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're just gonna pull it through our bracket. Now all four flat harnesses will have a groove on it and we're just gonna pull that out till that groove comes through these notches and lock it into place. And then we'll secure it with our dust cover. Now if your hitch does not come with a mounting plate installed and you want that type of look for your trailer wiring, we do sell mounting plates that you can install onto your hitch. Now to install the mounting plate, you're just going to line it up over the hitch where you'd like it installed and then using the provided clamp, you're gonna tighten it up to keep it into place. Now once it's tight, you can just take your mounting bracket and install it with the pre-drilled holes on that plate. Now your next option is to install your trailer wiring onto your bumper fascia. Now to do that, you'll just wanna line up your mounting bracket where it's not blocking your hitch receiver or any of your tow loops. Now if your bumper fascia is plastic, we recommend using the set of screws that comes with your kit. You'll wanna drill the holes after lining up your mounting bracket and then bring your screw through and secure it with the provided nuts. Now you don't wanna use the self-tapping screws on plastic since there's nothing to keep them in on the other side and after time, they tend to corrode a lot faster. Using the screw and nut will help keep it into place and secure for a longer time. Now if your bumper fascia is metal, you can definitely go ahead and use your self-tapping screw since that tends to hold better on those harder surfaces. Now our next option is to leave our wiring in our cargo area. Now if you're already installing your trailer wiring behind your paneling by connecting to your taillights, it's easy just to leave it right here in your storage area either by your spare tire or in one of your storage trays. That way you don't have to find a grommet or a vent to push your wiring underneath your vehicle to mount next to your hitch receiver. Now if you're only planning on using your trailer wiring once or twice on a one-time move or if you're mainly using your hitch for a bike rack or cargo carrier, Leaving it in your storage area will help hide it so you can only pull it out and see it when you need to tow with a trailer. Now one of the benefits of leaving your trailer wiring in your cargo area is that in a lot of areas your vehicles tend to rust and leaving your wiring underneath will also rust out your wiring. So leaving it in here will help protect it from the elements. Now some people think that it's harmful to bring your wiring out through your trunk but to make sure that you don't damage your wiring the only thing you need to avoid is your clip right here. If your wiring is on that clip and you close it, that can snap into your wiring and cause a short and damage it. So you wanna make sure you stay on the weather seal. So you just pull it out to your length and then you can just close the trunk. 
Now in here, nothing is going to cause your wiring to short or it's not gonna cut your wiring. And then when you're done, you can just open up your trunk again and then you can store it in your cargo area. So hopefully these tips help you out when securing and storing your trailer wiring either in your cargo area or underneath your vehicle. Now, just a little tip is that if you have a four or a five way harness, you can store those in the trunk. But if you have a six or seven option, we recommend that you don't use the trunk option for that, but that you store it next to your hitch receiver. So if you have any questions about these harnesses or these mounting brackets, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.